South Australia is going into lockdown. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Well, it looks like South Australia is now heading towards a six-day lockdown. Let's have a look from this article at ABC News about what it entails. So, South Australia introduces new restrictions to address the Adelaide cluster. We can have a look here. South Australian authorities are introducing a range of new coronavirus restrictions to deal with the latest cluster of cases, with Premier Stephen Marshall describing the measures as a circuit breaker. Now, here's the problem. How often is this going to have to be done again and again? And here's a brief summary by Nicholas McElroy. The press conference is still going, but here's a quick summary. South Australia will be locked down for six days as of midnight tonight. People will be restricted from going outside of their homes. Only one person per household will be able to leave the home each day, but only for specific purposes. The South Australian Premier, Stephen Marshall, says the measures are a necessary circuit breaker to allow for a contact tracing blitz on cases linked to the Parafield cluster. There have been two new cases of coronavirus in South Australia, both linked just two new cases, okay, to the Parafield cluster. There are now 22 direct cases directly linked to the cluster and a further seven suspected cases, so not even 30. South Australian health official authorities say they are at a critical stage of their investigation and are urging anyone who went to or ordered takeaway from the Woodville Pizza Bar between the 6th and 16th of November to immediately self-quarantine and get tested for the coronavirus. 10 days. Well, I feel sorry for that business owner. The Chief Public Health Officer, Nicola Spurry, says the, uh, the particular strain of the virus is breeding very, very rapidly, with a short incubation period of about 24 hours and with infected people showing only minimal symptoms. Professor Spurry says authorities have acted to shut down the community because waiting any longer would see South Australians incur similar lockdowns to Victoria. From midnight, the following facilities will be closed. All schools, except those servicing children of essential workers and vulnerable children. Takeaway food. Universities. Pub. Why is takeaway food being closed down? Pubs, cafes, coffee shops and food courts. Elective surgery, except for urgent operations and cancer treatment. Open inspections and auctions. Outdoor sports or physical activity. The construction industry. Factories other than food and medical products. Other restrictions will include fly and fly out work will be stopped for six days. Regional travel is not approved. Aged care and disability residential facilities will be in lockdown. Holiday homes will not be available for re lease or rental. Weddings and funerals will be banned for six days. Okay, no one's allowed to die for six days or get married. Masks will be required in all areas outside of the home. Exercise will not be available outside of the home. The following services are considered essential and will remain open. Water, power and telecommunications. Supermarkets, but they will be limited in terms of access. Medical, including mental health, supplies and accessory services, or and access to services. Public transport, airport and freight services, including courier services. Petrol stations, access to financial institutions and postal services. Essential parts of mining, smelting and large factories. Child care, but only for families of essential services, essential workers and veterinarian services. And here we go. The chief health officer says the virus is spreading very, very rapidly. The link between cases cemented my fears that this virus is reading, ver spreading very, very rapidly. You have a short incubation period. You have three days as most generations move on. So I know this is an is an absolutely big ask, but if we are, if we leave this any longer, and if we have people moving around the community and have lots of contact with other people, then we're going to be in this for a long for a, the long haul, and it will like the experience in and would be like the experience in Victoria, where we get increasing cases every single day. We have to go into a significant lockdown for a very long period of time to snuff it out and get rid of every last bit of community tracing. So in the Woodville Pizza Shop, 
The one case that we received information about yesterday midday was of a young man who works at one of many hotels near Pepper's Weymouth with the other two cases where the other two cases have been. It was at the Stanford and this person was not a security guard, was not a nurse or police officer, but worked in the kitchen and thus made us very concerned because we could not work out how on earth that peop- person became infected. How were those two Medi hotels linked? We made the link last night where we had a close contact of one of our security guards who was actively working part-time at the pizza bar and the case last night also worked in the pizza bar at the same time as the person who worked at the Stanford went and got a pizza. Are you kidding? So because someone went and got a pizza, they happened to meet up at the same time. The focus on the Woodville pizza takeaway delivery over 10 day period. Anyone who got takeaway delivery from the Woodville Pizza Bar, 58 Woodville Road, Wood, Woodville, between the 6th and 16th of November, a 10-day period, must immediately self-quarantine and get tested. That is really, really important information today. So if you ordered a pizza there, well, there you go, guys. This, this is what happens when you get takeaway. It's not good for you. I've been telling you. So if you have people, friends, and family living in Wood, Woodville, get hold of them now and ask them if they've been to the pizza bar and all of those details on our website. This is still very early days in this cluster, and I want to talk you through the rationale as to why we are asking every South Australian to do this at this point in time. All of the cases, as I said, the positive cases have been linked, and that is a phenomenal effort, and it means that we are very early at the beginning of this, and we have a very short window of opportunity to close it down and stamp it out in our communities. This particular strain has had certain characteristics. It has a very short incubation period that means someone gets exposed it takes 24 hours or even less for that person to become infectious to others and other characteristics of the cases we have seen so far as they have had minimal symptoms and sometimes no symptoms but have been able to pass it on to other people so asymptomatic cases i I seriously think this is spreading a lot further in the community than we actually realize i think there are a lot of people that are asymptomatic and just spreading it around we also know because of the characteristics that we've, we can call a generation is only about three days. And a generation is one case passing it on to the next level and then the next. So it will pass. Uh, so if they then pass it on to two people, they will pass it on to a lot more. And that is your third generation. At the moment in South Australia, we've done contact tracing to the fourth generation, but the fifth generation is out there in the community. And at the moment, we are contact tracing to get onto the, that for fourth generation. And that is the Woodfield Pizza Par. The reason for going for the six-day period is really significant. Restrictions is that is is that it is two generations. We're up to the fifth and then getting to the sixth. We have no time to wait. If I thought about this all day and then told the police commissioner, the premier tonight, we'd already be 12 hours behind. So we really need to act fast under this. So that is the rationale. So there we have it, guys. Severe restrictions in South Australia have been announced. We'll have to see what happens as always let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below please like share and subscribe to the channel if you're a fan and want to support the content there are a few ways you can you can join us on youtube or patreon you can support us using our affiliate links at amazon ebay independent reserve or kucoin you can buy merch from heiser says or teespring support us using gold pass from the perth mint or paypal take care everyone i'll see you next time